are a politician and you are a father, first as a yes. politician, when you go back to your town, because they say every politics is local, if you go back home, your constituents will be asking what you have brought for them, either in terms of the immediate cash you're given to them or the project or whatever you're you are bringing to their, to, their, to their zone or their territory. Now, as a father, when you're coming back home, your children will be thinking if you pay their school fees or you're bringing food to their table. Now, to a larger context, Nigerians will be looking at where you, I mean, you met Nigeria and what is, 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 is ongoing right now, what is obtainable. You look at the inflation rate, it was at 9%. Now it's over 20%. Unemployment rate, it was 8% before you came into power. It was, three, it's now 33.3%. Three, Debt profile has risen. I mean, there are debates over uh, what culminates into that. Let's put that aside. What about exchange rate? What, how much did you meet the dollar? Now, the dollar is way almost 700 and something at, at, the, at the parallel market. Now, you look at a whole lot of indices that are not looking very well. And your presidential campaign council has chosen the slogan of renewed hope. See what the opposition has said about that slogan. They said, it is a slogan coming from a realization of failure that want to salvage the situation. So what do you tell Nigerians that, oh, we met these things at single digits when we came into office, but now it's at double digit. Is the life, are the lives of Nigerians better when, now than when you met it? These are the questions they will be asking. Let me tell you where we met, let me tell you where we met Nigeria in 2015. We met Nigeria at a point where the economy was loose diving and collapsing. Who said so? Not we. It was Okonjo Iweala that said so. The Minister of uh, Finance of the, of, of the PDP government. A few months to hand over, she warned that the economy was more diving. At that time, don't forget that the GDP had collapsed from 6.5 to 2.2 or 2.5. That was where, that was how, that was, the, that was the downward trend of the economy at that time. Why? Because they failed to make very useful, you know, useful investment of all the earnings that they earned in the 16 years of government. That is the effect we are feeling today. And what we are doing is trying to revive the economy. The economy is on an upward trend, no doubt about it. I'll give you the indices to prove that. But you are asking me specifically where we met the economy, where we met this country. And I'm telling you where we met it because it was not by my own Ipsy Dixit, it was by the Ipsy Dixit. I'm sorry, I'm using a legal term by the word of their own finance minister, Chewu, not me. She said at that time that whoever, hands up, whoever inherited the government and whoever went, won was going to face a recession. She said we're headed for a recession, not me. So are you going to attribute all that to the APC? So what we came, what we came on a rescue mission. The rescue mission continues. The damage PDP did to go this country in the last 60 years cannot be, cannot be easily remedied. Look at all the infrastructure. You talk about loans. Look at what we have used all our loans to do. You can virtually see them. You can see them. You can see the rails. You can see the bridges. You can see the roads. Tell me one, one, not two, one infrastructural development that the PDP engaged in in 60 years when they were in power. They only talk about some very, you know, ephemeral uh, kind of achievement. Mr. The words of the opposition saying, renewed hope alone as a slogan is an acceptance or the realization of failure of the APC, knowing that they've not been able to accomplish what they have promised Nigerians. So what would you be telling Nigerians that after seven and a half years, we have failed you, but still vote us into office, we will do better? So, like I was saying, I was just, you know, uh, going through my train of thoughts. I talked about what Okonjo Oweala, their own finance minister, said at the point of handover. Now, not only that, two central bank governors that served the PDP go back and look at their speeches in 2014 and to early 2015. Soludo is alive, who is now the governor of Anambra State, and Mohamed Sanusi, the former, you know, uh, the Emir of Kano. Both of them said whoever wins the 2015 election was going to inherit a mess. I did not say so. So when the PDP spokespersons, they come on air and they begin to rant about how well they left the economy and all that, refer them back to what their own people said. Not our people. We're not people in opposition. People who serve their own government. Their central bank governors and their finance minister said whoever won the 2015 election was going to inherit a mess. 
So, so it is not a doubt, therefore, that we inherited a mess. And we have been on that rescue mission for seven and a half years. But you and told, you, you told Nigerians you can get the job done. That's why Nigerians, you I, I wish that, that we were going to get the job done. That's why Nigerians so, voted for so, your party. So, so, are you not seeing infrastructure? We inherited, we inherited a bridge, a second Niger bridge, on drawing paper, on paper. You're asking me what we That's what we inherited. A paper, paper, on paper for 16 years. It has been completed. We, we inherited so many you know, power projects on the paper. The Zungeru, the Kashimbila power project on paper. They are now completed, bringing 4,000 megawatts back to the na national grid. Those are the things we inherited. All of these economic issues in this you're talking about, they are sweeping across the globe. Go and see the IMF pre prediction. IMF prediction says the biggest countries in the world are going to face bigger crises in 2023. What it means is that we have been able to manage our economy to a manageable level in, term, in, you know, in, in the face of global economic meltdown. These indices we are seeing could have been worse. It shows one, first of all, that we were left in a mess. We are still trying to clean up the mess. The mess was not going to be cleaned up by the freak of the switch. Mr. Kiyamo, I, I, I wish that we could move on quickly. <laughs>